Hi everyone. This time we will learn about how to write a data sheet and a function chart. Competitors will write a data sheet and a function chart. Let us have a look at the key points of this task. First, check the points that require checking ground resistance and insulation resistance. Second, when writing a function chart, accurately check the correct and incorrect points. Wear protective equipment. Please double check preparations in detail and tools to perform the task. Let us have a look at the precautions to perform the task in this training. First, after completion of the work, write and submit a data sheet of the readings, and if the task is modified afterward, the record must be rewritten and resubmitted. Second, if a short circuit occurs while writing the data sheet, a lot of marks will be deducted, so be careful. If a short circuit occurs while finding the readings of the completed work or while functioning, the cause should be quickly identified and recovered. Third, protective equipment must be worn when measuring ground resistance and insulation resistance. Safety equipment must be worn when verifying the readings, writing the function chart, and checking the functions, since high voltage current may cause electric shock, fire, etc. Fourth, note when writing the function chart that if the function chart is different from the actual functions, marks will be deducted. Incorrect requirements must be clearly marked as incorrect. Even though there is only one incorrect point in the function chart, the whole mark for the function chart will be zero. Have a look at what we are going to do in this training. Ground and insulation resistance should be measured using a multimeter. A multimeter consists of several functions to measure various current values, such as ground resistance, insulation resistance, voltage, etc., and the function is selected by turning the dial. A multimeter mainly consists of a power button, a brightness control button, a test button, a function button to select options according to the current value, and a screen that displays readings. Voltage can be measured up to 50 or 1000 volts depending on the model. Backside consists of a power connection and test probes. How to use a multimeter is as follows. Connect the test probes to the back of the multimeter. Turn on the multimeter. Press the screen brightness setting button to adjust the brightness. To measure ground resistance, adjust the dial to continuity. Measure the ground resistance by touching the end of a test probe with the end of the other one. The ground resistance can also be measured by holding the test probes with one hand and pressing the test button. Insulation gloves must be worn because there is a risk of electric shock due to voltage generation when measuring insulation resistance. Turn the dial to insulation.
500 voltage is applied. When the ends of the test probes touch each other, the reading of the insulation resistance is shown as 0.0, .0 mega ohm and 500 mega ohm if the probes are separate, away from each other. Insulation gloves must be worn since the voltage flows. The voltage can be set by pressing the F4 button. Depending on the situation, it can be set to 1000 volts, 50 volts, 100 volts, 250 volts, and 500 volts. Generally, 500 volts is set. To measure the voltage, turn the dial to volts first. Power on the terminal to be measured on the test purpose power strip. Measure the voltage by connecting the test probes to each hole of the terminal. Check whether 220 volts is measured. Check if the voltage is measured at 0 volts when the power is cut off. Check if 220 volts is measured after the power is applied back. When all measurements are completed, turn off the power of the multimeter and remove the test probes from the multimeter. Basic information such as the competitor's name and country code should be entered on the datasheet. Wear insulation gloves and connect the test probes to the multimeter to start the measurement. Measure the resistance of the outlet socket and outlet box. Measure the resistance of the outlet socket and door of the control box. Measure the resistance of the outlet socket and mesh cable tray. Measure the resistance of the control box's PLC set power supply and terminal blocks. Measure the resistance of the logo power supply in the control box. Measure the resistance of the terminal blocks and outlet socket of the distribution board. Measure the resistance of the outlet socket. Measure the resistance of the terminal blocks of the distribution board. Measure the resistance of the terminal blocks of the control box and the distribution board.
check the requirements of the function chart and inspect the completed work. Check the function of the breakers of the distortion board. Check the function of the control box. Inspection shall be carried out in accordance with the requirements given on the function chart. Check the normal operation of each function according to the requirements. Check the function of the distribution board. Operate each switch on the distribution board to check the operation of the lamps. Check the operation of the lower lamps and switches. Check the operation of each function according to the requirements of the function chart and record it on the function chart. Please check again the key points of the task we've done in this training. So, we have learned about how to check a data sheet and how to write a function chart in this training. Thank you all for your hard work.